Hi guys, this is Aristotle from Andadunda Vienta. In today's video, we will be designing the bevel gear. Now let's design it. For more videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel. We are back to our SOLIDWORKS interface. For designing the bevel gear, we have to draw a sketch. So go into part. Let's draw a sketch of uh, bevel gear. Now I'm selecting here front plane and in this front plane I'm going to draw a outline of bevel gear just select a line and draw a structure like this now let's give it a dimension for this side Let's take it as 24 and angle of this should be 45. This side let's take as 28 and from this to this let's take as 26 and this all bases take it as 85 and main this angle between this is uh, I think 135 so now these sketches ready yeah, yeah this is over defining it let's cancel it now go to feature select revolve boss base and select this as axis of rotation click ok now the outline is done now we have to draw teeth for that we have to draw uh, some outlines for that go to first slip front plane sketch it Press Ctrl it. Now select the line, construction line actually. Draw a construction like this. Now just select this and this outline. Take it as collinear. Press OK. Now exit this sketch. We have to draw a plane for that. For that, just go to this view and in features, go in plane and just select this line, make it as perpendicular up to this point. Is OK. Now go to this sketch. Sketch. Let's control that. Now select again a line. Basically, center line. Draw a sketch. Like this. Now make it a rigid line. draw a line here and now select the arc which is three point arc for the root formation now select this and just yeah now just give it a dimension add eight for this now before that we have to convert this outer line to the entity hmm? done now just go to smart dimension select this and this as a eight this line let's take it as three and for the areas of this
ticket ads 130 what's happening uh, now just give it a radius as 50 okay done and one final thing we have to define this sketch so from this to suppose this point uh, let's take at 68 okay now just one simple thing is remaining which is mirror just select this line before mirroring now let's mirror first then we remit just select these lines and for the axis select this we are done now print the this part is also yeah all done now we just click on ok sketch is done exit the sketch hide this plane now select this sketch select cut exclude and now select mirror plane and just give dimension as 80 from both is it sufficient yeah it is sufficient for click on ok okay now just circular pattern it before uh, drawing the all the tooths let's fill it first okay. let's take it as four there are so many options for that you can select one of option from this right now i'm taking a default which is fillet type um, just entering the parameter as 4 selecting this and this click on ok yeah the fillet is done now we have to fillet the this inner tooth just yeah same for the other side we have to fillet the tooth for that first take this as one and select this tooth also yeah done all done Click on OK. Now done. Yeah, there is one part is remaining in this. Go to features again and select this base also. Okay, now it's fully done. Now select this circular and this fillet. Go in linear sketch, circular pattern. select this axis and uh, simply we have to give a number that how many teeth we want if i want 10 teeth i'm giving 10 if i want 20 i'm giving 20 right now i'm giving 32 teeth okay and click on ok Okay, they are showing me some error. Yeah, what is it? Well, to create the fillet cards, the material it is only using a face fillet option. 
okay now just cancel this okay so i just get this fillet and after that select this fillet and this go to circular pattern give it 32 as an axis of rotation this okay well it is done this is how uh, you draw bevel gear pits now let's draw the some inner structures I means the shaft which will be going through this you can draw from bottom also or you mainly draw from water because up there there is a another uh, bevel which will be meshing this and transferring the power perpendicular now we have to draw a hole in middle of this because for the shaft we have to draw a circle and notch just draw a circle with a radius of 50 and go select line sketch on this like this trim this uh, middle portion okay give it dimension for this that's 10 this is suppose 5 from this point to this point just take 5 done now go to exclude cut in feature stack and go for through all because we want to hold yeah done this is how you design a bevel gear and uh, notch and hole in this yeah uh, now just we have to fillet this if you want to fill it you can fill it or uh, take it as it is i'm going to fillet this same before as uh, one as uh, radius yeah then now for bottom side also this and this okay this part is remaining another this part and click on ok you know this bevel is done thanks guys if you have any queries you can comment in it or uh, in comment box also that's all for today's because on the other